Hello everyone. Um, this video is going to be about working with MathJax and document object manipulation because I had some trouble working with it and I decided to make this record so that if someone else has the same issue I can be helpful somehow. Okay, so here we have a basic HTML structure and we will start by adding some text notation here as if it was in a common static website so we go to mathjax.org and here on web integrations we will copy the script here okay so now let's paste it to the head of our HTML And let's open an H1 tag so we can write an example. And I have already written a good example here because this here stands up for the displacement equation in physics. And I think it is very hard to, to display this on browser without the use of MathJax. Let's see how it looks. Okay, looks pretty and the way it should be. But now let's make a, let's make this page show some dynamic content so we can see what's the problem here. Um, let's do the following equation. Here we open an H two tag with idea of equation and let's make the following when we press this button change equation we will call the function change equation button on click change Okay, so we will write some script here. I'll call it mathjax tutorial.js. We'll copy this relative path and also add to the head of our HTML. So, script um, type text slash javascript um, source okay so let's write this function function change equation let's see so when we call this function and this H2 element changes to. I wrote the acceleration formula also in physics. So let's do this. So document dot get element by ID equation dot inner HTML equals to this. Oops, there is a problem here. Which one? Oh. I think now it will work properly. So let's see what happens. So change equation. And this just doesn't look the way we want it to, right? So the first thing we need to be careful about is that backslashes in JavaScript stand for skip characters. For example, backslash n means that you want to skip a line and then keep writing, all right? So control F and let's replace all those backslashes for double backslashes. Okay. Now let's see how our code is running. Change equation and look, this is exactly the string that we wanted the JavaScript to look 
and understand as text notation, but this is just not happening. So there is just one thing lacking in our code. We need to invoke this function here, mathjax.typeset. Oops. Okay. Change equation and it works properly. Now there are only two other things we need to take in consideration. The first one is that this function here works synchronous. So if you want it to work asynchronous, you type typeset promise. The only difference between those functions is the other offloading components. And this is it. We can look here. It works the same way. So the other thing is that you can only invoke this function after you have added all the elements you want to be read as math in your web page. So if you write this function here, it will just not work. Look. Can you see? Why is that? Because this function here, what it does is it looks at all the text in your web page that has already been written and looks for delimiters those i mean by default this or this and the content goes here in the middle right but this is just a default if you have any intentions of changing it you can look at mathjax.org documentation and you will find the comments there and this is it i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you liked it please press the like button and also if you guys have any questions that i may be helpful please leave in the comments and i'll be very pleased to answer them thank you for watching